What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're taking a look at a, a niche guitar library called Strum Guitar. Uh, and this is from Waves Factory. And I, I saw one of their uh, YouTube videos doing a walkthrough of this library. And I was like, well, I need to get my hands on this because I actually uh, don't really have any super playable acoustic guitar libraries. I do have a couple guitar libraries. I should show you. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, Finger Pick, I have Evolution Songwriter, those are kind of the main two. But it, it always takes me a bit of time to set up and actually build a pattern and um, figure out, like remember how the instrument works. So I was always kind of looking for an instrument that uh, was was just playable right away. Like, you know, I just load it in and all of a sudden I can just put my hands on it and play a, a pattern, for example. And, you know, there, there's always an argument that, oh, but that's not realistic and you know, you should just learn to play the guitar, but no, I mean, I'm, I'm playing the, I'm a pianist. And if I want to get some, you know, convincing guitar tracks in my, in my song really quickly, then this is a perfect way to do that. So I have no problem using a library that makes the job easier for you. Even if it might sacrifice a touch of realism, it's still um, a, a good workaround. So just to show you here, maybe we can go to uh, the, the product page and, um, you can see here there are basically four different types of guitars sampled. So we have we have electric guitar, acoustic, electric 12 string, and then an acoustic 12 string. It features a built-in sequencer with chord recognition that analyzes and plays the chords according to uh, their own voicings, basically. So uh, let's take a look. Um, you can see these other three are grayed out right now, but that, that's because I've only loaded in the regular acoustic guitar. And if I click these other ones, you can see the memory increases a little bit to load in those samples for the electric 12 string. But let's take that out for now. And the way this works is the blue key range here on the bottom is the playable chord range. So if I want to play C major chord, I can play C major chord. And these are the different available patterns with the black keys being the actual muted strumming patterns, as you can hear there. But yeah, let's just try playing um, the, the first pattern we have. Let's switch some chords. So that's F major, and we'll go to G7. And back to C. Right, and you'll notice that if I let go, it cuts off right away. So that just means if I want to end the progression with a consistent chord, then I actually need to play an individual chord, one chord to finish it off. And I can do that by pressing either this E or this F over here. So that's a downstroke and upstroke key. So if I just play that once, I can hold it and it's done just like that. So you could play a pattern. One, two, three, four, kind of like that. You can play that key and then it just finishes off there. So yeah, that's basically how that works. You it, it, Very, very simple, right? So the playable range here for the chords, then you have your different patterns here. Um, you have your downstroke and upstroke as well as a mute key. And then you have some effects, more mute stuff there and some slides at the very top. Uh, if we dive into the mixer, we'll see right now the acoustic is the only one that's turned on. Maybe we can try out the electric. Uh, going back out here, uh, let's see. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's basically electric. Let's take a, maybe a look at the electric 12 string. But maybe we can try a different pattern as well. So, or maybe I'll try the third one here. Let's try D major. I should let you know also that the instrument itself does not come with inversions or anything like that. There's basically one particular voicing per instrument and that's all in root position, just so you know. Uh, so that might be a downside for you. But so like for me, I would probably use this in the context of a fuller mix. If I just need some acoustic guitar strumming in the background to actually get the rhythm across and get the harmony going, maybe in accompaniment with a piano or a full orchestra, then I would probably use this instrument in this context. Um, but the actual sound quality and the playability is is fabulous to me. So, uh, and finally the twelve string. So let's have a listen. I totally messed that up, but 
that's okay. <laughs> so you get the idea. Um, very, very simple to use. And again, when I click this, this, this effects page actually allows you to assign um, specific effects to the instrument. So let's say I have, I want to go back to the original um, strummed acoustic. And now I can click on the acoustic and I can start setting up some effects. Let's say I want some EQ. So if I play the pattern, let's say I want more lows. Hear that come up, maybe a little mid. There, high mid. So a little more there and finally more of the string sound, right? Maybe we can add in a, let's say, reverb. Right, so you can basically stack all the effects up as much as you want. Let's say, oh, let's go with maybe a lo-fi. Okay, I don't really like that, but you get the you get the idea. So let's go back to unassigned here, and then we have the sequencer, which we can actually fiddle around with the effect right, with the patterns. It's not entirely realistic. Let's try maybe a pop three pattern. Okay, it's a little fast. Let's say I want maybe a tiny bit of a hit there. And then if you want a downstroke or upstroke, you can affect it like that. Now let's say you want to mute on a certain pad, uh, on a certain um, step, then you can do that as well. So you click the box and you get the X right away. I'd probably do it on one of these or something. Especially when you when you want to switch chords, like so. This one actually comes with some built-in mutes here. You can see. So yeah, really, really cool. And again, these are the different styles. I like that they actually have you know a swing style, and they have some risers too, which is cool. Actually, let's let's uh let's go to a riser. Right, so increase the velocity there. And then the third riser. <laughs> yeah, super cool. And then you have round robins, dynamic range, velocity curve, noises, uh, envelope, and so on and so forth. But yeah, in terms of the actual playability and the way it works, it's super, super simple. Even for someone like me, I, lo I love the, the ease of use for this thing. And again, you can just get up and running right away. So the fact that they give you some pre-recorded patterns that you can start playing around with, and then you can go in further and you can actually fiddle them to your own liking. So this one is the indie pattern, right? But let's say I don't want this one as strong. Then you can it's it's quite flexible that way you know so that's really cool yeah so if i if i had any suggestions um first of all i would say i would love inversions in there as a possible chord type as well as suspended chords i wasn't able to play any suspended chords like sus twos or sus fours um and yeah we were only able to play root position major minor and then we have dominant sevens there as well um and then they give us two separate patches as well uh that are just the chords and then some notes as well. So it's a little more flexible. I should show you here. So the, ori the original instrument is just here, the NKI file, sir, uh, strum guitar. You click on extra and you get chords and notes. So this is what the chords sound like. And it's basically just major, major, minor, minor. So, okay, yeah, actually, and you can see both of these are turned on. Let's Let's just get the electric here. And this is really, really cool. Actually, it's it's actually velocity dependent. So when I play really lightly, you only get that third, but the harder I press, you get more and more of that, uh, of those notes lower down, so. So the harder you press, the louder it gets, and the more voices you get as well. is here open strings and a little mute there which is nice so yeah that that's basically the the separate chords patch and then you have some notes so this will just allow you to play
then you have those little slide effects. Maybe let's try the 12 string acoustic here. Yeah. So again, very, very simple instrument, right? We have four different unique guitars sampled and each one of them are powered by the sequencer and you have some tweaking, tweakability effects, right? You can put the effects on, you can have uh, louder and softer on certain instruments if you like. You can pan, um, you can double, so for a, you know, a thicker sound, but the sequencer is really where the excitement lies, you know, because if you have it, you have a certain pattern, but you want to change it, then you can actually draw those in yourself and affect them however you'd like. And, uh, and then the settings are some extra things as well. But for me personally, I would see myself using the acoustic quite a lot, maybe even the 12 string and as the background of maybe a chorus, or if it's just like a simple acoustic pop song, then I might use it there too. Um, and again, the tweakability and the playability is, is fantastic to me. So that's, basically what I would use it for. And if you would use something like this, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this instrument and definitely check out like the official walkthrough on their channel as well on Waves Factory's channel. Uh, you can get a sense of what they actually uh, can do with this library. So they, uh, they also have a really cool video talking about how to get realistic guitar performances out of the instrument and how to apply mutes and things like that. So I would definitely recommend watching that too. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, before you go, I wanna give you my sample library buyer's guide. It's basically a culmination of all the instruments that I use on a regular basis, covering strings, woodwinds, brass, percussion, um, and even more like piano, jazz, ethnic libraries, and so on and so forth. So if you're interested in the type of instruments that I use regularly, then I wanna recommend that to you. So it's totally free, it's the first thing in the description box below if you want to click that and check it out. Um, it's totally yours. So I want to thank you again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and uh, take care everybody. Bye-bye.